Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Welcome back. And if this is your first time here, thank you for being here. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're interested in getting uh, notifications on when I upload more videos. This is going to be your general reading for the month of September. It's not geared towards anything. We're just going to do a general reading and see what comes up. And we'll get right into it. What messages do we have for Pisces for the month of September? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces for the month of September. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Do one more. Always take a big deep breath and release the outcome. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of September. I hope you guys are doing well, as always. There's a lot going on right now. Y'all's energy has been pick picking up a little bit lately. We're a couple months into September, or a couple months, we're a couple days into September already. Sorry these are a little late. Oh, that one wants to come out too. But yeah, all those low energy vibes are clearing out. Thank goodness. Everything's in reverse though. Okay. <laughs> all right, which is not bad. Okay, man, this this keeps coming up. This was coming up in um, when I was pre-shuffling. I kept seeing this card, and I knew it was going to come out, and it's the first card, of course. Two of Swords. Making a decision. In this position, you're not sure. You're being a Pisces. You're being a fish here. But here, you've chosen one. You've chosen a path. You've made a decision about something. And if you haven't made the decision and you're still like this, you're, you're going to make this decision this month for sure. What is this decision about? Like I said, the energy is coming up this month for you guys. I feel like it's been... I'm hearing a rocky summer. <laughs> it's been up and down. It's been waves in the background, just... Uh, one day it's good, one day it's, it's okay. The next day you're losing your mind. And then you're okay for a couple days. Y'all know how it goes. I'm preaching to the choir here. <laughs> But here with the Two of Swords in reverse, that's coming to an end. Eclipse season was really intense for you Pisces. And you're done, you're done in, with being in that energy. You're done. You're cutting, you're cutting the cord. You're cutting whatever it is that just needs to go. We're going to find out what that is. Next card is the Page of Cups in reverse. An offer. Someone wants to offer you something and you're turning it down. You've made a decision for some of you to empower yourself. To You've chosen yourself. And I give you a round of applause, Pisces. This is wonderful. Choosing yourself is the most important decision you could ever make. This page is not facing this person. There's someone that wants to offer you something. Maybe another water sign. Maybe. Doesn't have to be. Or they did want to offer you something. And you were really up in the air about it. But you're turning it down. You're picking something else. And then we've got this card, the Queen of Wands in reverse. 
someone, there's a fire sign that's really irritating you right now. That's the energy I'm getting. Queen of Wands is usually, she's pretty cool. She's intuitive. She's, um, she's smart. She's powerful. But she's been getting on your nerves lately. It doesn't necessarily mean it's, it has to be a female, but it's the female energy. And for some of you, you could be cutting out this fire sign. You're, you're cutting out this queen. You're like, I can't deal with this fire right now. I can't deal because you're water, they're fire, y'all are making steam. That's not working out. Steam is not good. <laughs> it's okay for a minute if it's in the right, if it's like in love or you guys are feeling passionate towards each other, but I'm seeing that this person and this person are looking at each other and you, Pisces, again are caught in the middle. The card's coming to go like that. Can you see? There you go. For some of you, I'm picking up that you've chosen yourself. You've chosen the fish. You've chosen your own inner happiness. And F this person. This person's pissing you off. They're being controlling. They're trying to steer you on their path. What they think is good for you. Pisces, <laughs> come on. Y'all know what's good for you. And I don't, I don't have to repeat myself when I say that. You know what's best for you. You guys are the most intuitive. And the next card out is the Ace of Cups. Oh, in reverse, you see? <laughs> they all are. There is some still hesitation. There is, there is still a little bit of that low energy lingering around. Because this person is really, <laughs> you've had it. You're done. You're like, I need to get out of here. Is it someone you live with? Is it your romantic partner? I don't know. Who's the fire sign? Who's this queen? Is it a mother? A mother-in-law? You've got a major, major, major beautiful offer coming in. Emotional fulfillment from the divine, from the best place ever, from heaven, from source. But you still need to clear out some more of that negative energy. And by that, I mean <laughs> negative people around. Pisces, you guys are so, like, you never want to hurt anyone's feelings. But sometimes it's okay to stick up for yourself and say, you know what? Enough is enough right now. I can't take any more of your energy because you guys are such sponges. Don't get caught up in someone else's energy. Look at that. These two cards just popped out in this direction. All right, three more cards. You guys got the Empress. Beautiful. I'm hearing creative, creative, creative. And boy, are you. If you guys are ever in a pickle, in a sticky situation, Pisces are the ones that know how to get themselves out of it. You guys know how to manifest like that. Empress is... This is where... You say, I'm more important than anything else, in anyone else. Is that selfish? No, it's not. Three of Wands in reverse. There's been a lot of waiting. A lot of a lot of hard work you've put into where you are right now because you are in the Empress position you're sitting pretty Empress is gorgeous 
She's dressed in the most beautiful clothes. She has the, the coolest best friends. She's got a good family, family relationships. And not everything is perfect. But she has the power, and Pisces, you have the power, to make anything happen. And your last card is the Page of Pentacles. An offer. You're going to hear in September, you guys are going to hear about something in your work or foundation that's going to be really, really good news. This is beautiful energy. You guys are sticking up for yourselves. You may not be the king here. It's okay to be the page. You have to start out somewhere. A lot of you guys have started a new adventure, a new job recently. Some of you guys have, again, gone back to school. I don't know if I said that before. Um, but yeah, some of you guys have gone back to school recently. And you're just starting on your path. That's why you're at the three. You're just starting out. It's something new. You're learning a lot. There's a lot to absorb. There's a lot going on. But in the month of September, something is like, I'm hearing cha-ching, like a light bulb go off. You're going to get a raise. Or you're going to say something. And someone's going to hear it and be like, oh, that's right. Because that Pisces is awesome and I see their hard work. I see them clearing things out. I see them focused, super, super focused on what they want. Beautiful energy, Pisces. We'll pull an angel card. You can have whatever you want. Love, relationships, Emotional fulfillment, but it's time to cut those cords. And once you do, you're going to feel a million times better, and then you'll gain the confidence to ask for what you want. You never know until you try. Like, what's that saying? You'll, you'll never win the lottery unless you play? I'm totally butchering that. But you know what I mean. You don't... <laughs> You won't win if you can't, if you don't play. Why am I can't? I'm too tapped in right now. I can't. Sometimes I don't make sense when I'm trying to be logical. <laughs> All right. What messages do we have for Pisces? Whoa. For the month of September. What angel messages do we have for Pisces? In the month of September, beautiful Pisces, my fish, my sweet, sweet, beautiful fish. All right, one more. Look through the situation. That's why I feel like a lot of these cards are in the reverse. You're going to get what you want this month. It just might take a little bit of time. And the reason why is make sure you're looking through the situation. Make sure you're looking ahead to make sure this is really what you want to ask for because you'll get it you have the ace of cups here just because it's been reversed doesn't mean it's not going to happen of course it's going to happen like i said you're pisces you're awesome you're manifestors but sometimes pisces you make some rash decisions i can say that i'm a pisces <laughs> Sometimes we think with our emotions and our hearts instead of thinking with our heads. And this card is just asking you to find that balance. Find the balance. 
think it through. Is this what you really want? Is this the best thing for you, Pisces? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If this didn't resonate or if you are interested in some other videos, I will be uploading soon. Make sure to check out your moon, your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign. And I hope this finds you well. Again, please make sure to subscribe if you liked it and give it a thumbs up. Sending you all my love. See you in the next video.